Good morning and welcome to Herb Oracle Podcast, botanical divination with herbs, essences, flowers, and trees with your host, Herbal Marie. Let's start the day off pulling some oracle cards and getting a few messages. We can shoot the shiitake in a spiritual way-ish. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll post a pic of the cards at Herb Oracle. Thanks so much for joining me. Here we go. Yeehaw, little doggy. It's 1212, which made me push record a tad bit too early. Um, but that's okay, because when I get excited about a number, I'm just like, go, 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 go. Green for G, G for go. Go, go, go. <laughs> And now it's 12.13, so I'll see you later. Bye. Um, it's Tarot Tuesday, Tuesday Tarot. I was just on my um, one of my many Instagram accounts, Tarot Spread Layout, looking at, like, I posted, like, six or nine last night, and they were all freaking awesome. And But today I'm like, I don't feel like doing any of them. So I found another one, which I'll have to hoard at some point publicly, but we'll do it first here at Ho. It's called self-love realignment. I know, self-love realignment. And it was very similar to a uh, Mercury Direct tarot spread that I thought also looked cool. Like it actually was almost the same kind of questions. It was a three card spread. And, but this one's more geared towards you and maintaining your magic and your connection, learning to slow down. It's by Grounded by the Moon. Grounded by the Moon, self-love realignment. Embrace yourself and magic, learn to slow down, begin to heal. So I know it's a little late in the day, but it's still Tuesday and tarot can happen anytime. And what, even if it's just a little bit, a little bit noisy here, cause I got the heat on and we got the kids around and it's just a good, a good cozy vibe today so I'm not gonna deprive myself of tarot especially when we've got these three great questions now I love I love the way this layout is set up there's a heart the first card is down at the point of the heart and then to the left is number two and to the right is number three and then there's like these meditative hands on either side of the number one with the thumb and the pointer finger together you know kind of like that okay symbol like um we just gonna hang out we just gonna pull cards and here's the questions that we've got going on number one how can I slow down to connect with my energy so that resonated with me because like I'm looking at this next month of appointments and meetings and hearings and up just things going on in March and I'm like oh my god like am I gonna be okay because like I'm really I really am a homebody and like it's I get stressed out but I'm like you don't need to get stressed out and I was like oh my gosh look at this week last week in February all I really need to do this week is chill the F out. And even the 90 Arcturian Council today, they were talking about March and the big, big, big energies coming in. And their advice was to rest as much as you can and drink a lot of water. So I'm like, all right, I'm ready. Yeehaw, I am ready to rest and drink water. But that's just kind of sometimes what we need to do. So we'll see what else the cards wanna say. How can I slow down to connect with my energy? Obviously, we could freaking meditate, but we'll see what else comes in. The second card is what I need to honor and embrace within myself. What I need to honor and embrace within myself. So this could be something like that we want to accept, we want to incorporate, integrate. Maybe it's a shadow side, but there's something we need to honor and embrace within ourselves. Like that could go any. That could go lots of different directions. And then the third card is how can I maintain this connection and magic? Because there ain't nothing worse than getting a taste of something good and then it going away, especially inside of yourself. Like you get that connection, you're like, oh, I'm fucking magical. And then 24 hours later, you're like depressed and no energy and forgot the whole friggin' point of your life. 
So you want to be able to maintain the connection and magic. So that's what we're doing. If you want to grab your decks, three cards by Grounded by the Moon. How can I slow down to connect with my energy? What I need to honor and embrace within myself? And how can I maintain this connection and magic? Today at Ho and Tarot Tuesday, we're doing self-love realignment. This Affirmation Minute is brought to you by our expansive herb of the week, Colt's Foot. And I dedicate them all to you. Thank you. I breathe in life. I open into the now moment. I let go of cherished outcomes and accept my present experience. I focus on my current state and feel a true sense of presence. I flow with joy and peace. I breathe in life. I open into the now moment. I let go of cherished outcomes and accept my present experience. I focus on my current state and feel a true sense of presence. I flow with joy and peace. And so it is. So Colt's foot getting us into that place of flow, of peace, of joy, of the now moment, that is something that you will want to maintain when you get a little taste of it, when you connect with that energy. Um, so I think it's like the perfect herb of the week. Um, yeah, I'm excited about Colt's foot. I saw uh, right away somebody at the Herb Oracle Instagram posted that they had, they do use Colt's foot for their asthmatic child. And I mean, it's interesting to see like what people use here and uh, learn more about it. So I'm waiting to hear back. I'm like, right away, I'm like, do, do you use the leaves or the root? <laughs> What's up, nosy? What's up, nosing into other people's business? Hey, speaking of that, Spirit was harassing me now for a few weeks to return and, and have a little bit of a Facebook presence. So I am on there, Sadie Marie Cherico. If you want to look me up, I'll pretty much friend request anybody. Yeah, I'm that person. But it's been fun going down through the list and be like, I know her, I know her, I know him, I know him. Add, add, add. <laughs> All right, so I just posted a very important video of me shooting the Nerf gun at some gnomes. So, so far, my FB contribution has been FN fabulous. Okay, here we go. Self-love realignment. I feel like this is a theme it for a lot of people like let me get back to me and let you get back to you and you love yourself so so much and I will love myself so so much and then when we come together there is no lacking because we have invested in our self-love so if you feel like you need a realignment a reconnection reestablish that seed of self-love within you I grab your freaking deck grab your deck and shuffle some cards along with me if you don't then i will do the shuffling and the pulling absolutely um but it's really fun to pull your own cards too that, that even could add to the message that i bring in and then be sure to let me know about it reach out reach out mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. embrace yourself and magic learn to slow down begin to heal so shout out once again to grounded by the moon for this tarot spread we'll be using the herb crafters tarot over tarot over tarot <laughs> herb crafters tarot over i don't know where that came from but hey whatever we're gonna pull three cards i'm gonna give this a tornado twister in my hands Get the cards mixed up. That's good to do if you honor reversals. And we will get our cards in realignment as we set forth the intention to get our self-love in realignment. I mean, it's okay if you've fallen off the practice of self-love. I mean, why did you do that? I mean, don't give yourself a hard time about it. That's the opposite of self-love. 
but maybe just saying like, well, why did I do that? Did I get too busy, too critical of myself? Um, did someone else criticize me or make me question my worth? Ooh, and if they did, you gotta realize that you owe it to yourself to not let that happen ever again. So taking care of yourself, resting, drinking water like the Arcturians suggested, um, stretching, reading, singing, dancing, listening to music, um, doing things that you love, practicing your passions, your making art. I saw a really cute meme the other day. It's like, are you an artist? And it's like, did you make art? And then it was like, yes, no. Is it good or bad? Yes, no. Like it didn't matter like what you did or how it turned out, but it basically all the arrows turned to like you are an artist. Like if you make any type of art, it doesn't matter how it went, how it turned out, what it looks like, what anybody else thinks about it. You're an artist. So it's like make sure that you are doing things that are beneficial to you. Oh my gosh, I just realized I told my mom she could come over in 15 minutes to get her hair colored. <laughs> so I might be taking a break, um, you know, to do that. So let me, let me get these cards shuffled one more time. And, uh, oh wait, it's not my mom. It's, it's my neighbor saying, hey lady, I got a friend request on Facebook. Um, is it you? <laughs> so she was just double checking. Good idea to double check dot, 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 especially with me, exclamation point, LOL. I know I said I'd never go back. <laughs> It's true. I said I'd never go back to Facebook. So what's that all about? I don't know, Spirit. What's that all about? Like, I'm trying to be guided like our Herb of the Week um, is suggesting. Or is it suggesting? What What's suggesting that we be guided? Oh, that was Jesus today. <laughs> I'm getting all my productions confused. That was A Course in Miracles today. The notes that I took for the Tina Jesus that I... So Lesson 54... Um, if you want to see that, tap, tap into my afternoon ACIM today. But yeah, uh, Jesus was saying, we are happy that you're doing A Course in Miracles. Allow yourself to be guided by this new presence in your life. You know, your thoughts are powerful. And uh, you got to watch where your focus is. All right. So where's my focus? Not exactly here, but it's here. All right, so self-love realignment. We'll at least get one card pulled before my mom gets here. Number one, are you ready? I think I'm ready now. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for hanging out with Colt's Foot. The now moment, it isn't always perfect, but we can still be here in awareness, being very mindful. It's like, oh, your podcast sucks right this second. Yeah, I know, but at least I'm kind of trying to get in the now moment, bro. <laughs> You ready? I'm ready. How can I slow down to connect with my energy? So how can I slow down? I think that's a good idea. And I was already thinking that there goes one chucking itself on the floor because I was like, whoa, March, you're going to be coming at me. And the Arcturians were like, yep, March is going to be coming at you. And so I was like, maybe this week I really need to like hang out with Colt's foot in presence and breathe, breathe, breathe. Now the question is, how can I slow down to connect with my energy? We've got the Adelita of water, Ocotillo, Ocotillo. Talk about getting hydrated. This is like nature's Kool-Aid, um, the Adelita of water. Now the Adelitas, let's find them here. They are the warriors. But the Adelita of Water answers the question, how can I slow down to connect with my energy? Adelita of Water says, protect your heart where, heartwood, protect your heartwood, but let your love blossom. Strong boundaries create healthy relationships. Give your whole heart to your cause. 
So how can I slow down and connect with my energy this week? Well, feel loving, stay loving, love, love, love. But, you know, if I need to turn off my phone, turn it off. If I need to, you know, just take a minute to go meditate. And by a minute, I mean like an hour, go do that. Strong boundaries create healthier relationships. Give, give, give with a full heart. But, you know, also know that like this week we are in... We are in a um, healing, self-love realignment phase. And yeah, we might just need to make sure that we are filling our cup full. So we're looking at this, a young woman's on a solo hiking retreat. Okay, so there's your answer. How can I slow down to connect with my, my energy? My, how do I connect with my energy? I be with me. I give to me, I hang out with me, I pay attention to me, I love me, I care for me, I nurture me, I read to me, I laugh with me. Um, so she's taking a solo hike. She's even gonna camp out and she's standing next to this Ocotillo cactus. It's kind of like spindly and spiky looking. It reminds me of a crown of thorns, but in a bigger sense. And it's got these red, vibrant pink, reddish, blossoms on the tippy tops uh, and she's by a river it's it's flowing through the canyon so this is totally different um, landscape that I'm personally used to and it's really cool and she's pull. it looks like a clear pitcher of red kool-aid that she's pouring into her blue cup um, so yeah make sure you're filling your cup up to answer the question how can you slow down and connect with your energy get some time to yourself away in nature you'll have to slow down what can you do out there in the middle of the canyon nothing there's no phone reception probably like no wi-fi no distractions just you and nature and your cup of tea there's a bright blue sky fluffy clouds yeah she adds those flowers to the water to make tea and she changes the liquid to a delicate pink so how can I slow down to connect with my energy? The Adelita of water is committed to nurturing her spirit. So we've got this plant ally coming in, this you know, tarot symbolism showing us exactly what we can do to connect with our energy. The Adelita of water is committed to nurturing her spirit. She knows that time alone allows for the discovery of her innermost desires so yeah like it is really important to to have that time alone and like sometimes it's like oh geez well like I have a free night I could be a party animal tonight but if you're feeling like the best thing you could do for yourself is cozy up with a book and have a quiet night by yourself then you do that that's what you need to do even if like in two days, you're like, oh, geez, now I kind of wish I wouldn't have done that. Well, no, don't do that because you needed that and you listened to that and you gave yourself your full presence. When you give yourself your attention, that means you are committed to nurturing your spirit. So time alone is how you will slow down and connect with your energy. So really such a direct question, such a direct answer. It chucked itself so uh, intensely on the floor. I just love it when the tarot deck responds like that. So um, I wanna just tell you a little bit more about the Ocotillo, O-C-O-T-I-L-L-O. As the inner heartwood of the Ocotillo is used as sturdy building materials, she vows to be a model of self-care. Just as the beautiful flowers of the plant remain safe at the top of the tall stem covered in hidden thorns, she shares her heart with brilliant flair while keeping it safe and protected from harm. She has a deeply caring center but will battle to protect her boundaries when it comes to love. So it's like I was really resisting Spirit's suggestion to go back to Facebook because I said I'd never do it again. And so, like, you know, my ego's like, you cannot go back on your word. <laughs> um, 
you know, if it's if it's unloving, the ego wants me to stick to it. But if it is loving, the ego's like, ah, eh, you don't need to love them forever. <laughs> Anyways, what a great reminder that I can share my exuberance, my happiness, my positivity. But you know what? I don't have to download Messenger if I don't want to. I don't have to like I don't have to give any more than I want to give or I can I can give smartly. I can let my love blossom for people, but yet protect my heart would cuz I love I love strong boundaries. I'm a... <laughs> I love strong boundaries. That's how I love. If you hung out with me last week, we'll have a good laugh about that. So anyways, protect your boundaries when it comes to love and spend more time with you. Okie doke. So I took a little break there because if your mom shows up with her hair color, you put it on. Okay? You put it on her head. <laughs> alright, that's okay. <clears throat> that's alright. We can we can have an hour interlude. It's not a problem. I come back. My cards are still here. I'm definitely impressed by our first card, the Adelita of Water really just explained so well how we can slow down to connect with our own energy. Honey, it's called time by yourself. And yeah, I would love to be outside under a warm sky like that. It's it's not that's that is not the scene that I have available to me, but nonetheless, I can still bundle up in my red red snowsuit, my ski patrol snowsuit, and take a walk down by the happy stream and fresh air, just me and me, right? So we've got to fill our cup up. It's how we can connect with our own energy. I'm not saying you can't connect with your own energy when you've got hustle and bustle around you and people and kids and husbands and wives and mothers who need their gray hair covered because, you know, I'm like, Mom, are you ready for a silver revolution yet? I'm like, come on, Mom. And she's like, uh, maybe by maybe when I'm 70. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going to be 43. I have, like, way more silver hair than my mom. <laughs> hey, whatever, Mom. All right. Um, yeah, you can still try to connect with yourself or, you know, maintain your connection or do your best. But there just ain't nothing like some one-on-one -on -one solo time. So get yourself some. All right, next card. Question number two. Okay, so this, this Adelie, our first card's down at the tip, the point of the heart. And so our second card's going to go to the left of it, diagonal up on the heart. I don't really have a heart anywhere. I threw all the Valentine's Day stuff away. Like, I'm just done with, um holiday decor. I, I literally, except for the love gnomes, I kept three love gnomes. That was what I kept. Okay, so what I need to honor and embrace within myself. So this next card is an indication of something that may need nurtured more, honored more, embraced more. Like what is it that you could do? Oh, I want to say either differently or better or just enhance or add to it. So what I need to honor and embrace within myself. This could be a shadow aspect. Are all the cards going to fall on the floor? All right. What I need to honor and embrace within myself. Sometimes they have to, you guys, because it's like, oh my God. Because they're a fucking joke. That's why. <laughs> Hey, look who it is. It's the emperor <laughs> with those those hemlock boundaries. Okay, we just got this last week. It answered the question, how do I love <laughs> with such strong boundaries? And Ocotillo had a message of boundaries. And now what do I need to honor and embrace within myself? My friggin' boundaries. Hey. I'm allowed to have them. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, fine. See, I really, you know what? I'm glad it came back because last week I sort of felt bad that that's how I love with boundaries, right? I sort of was like, oh, I guess I shouldn't. You know, like I wasn't sure if it was good or bad or what. 
but now it's like, you know what, honor and embrace those strong boundaries within you. Honor and embrace your sturdy structure that you have built for yourself that's going to support abundant growth. And what else do I need to honor and embrace within myself? Owning my own authority. So I love this so much because part of my self-love realignment this past month has been declaring to the universe, or at least to the human humanoids, no one is going to tell me what to do, ever, especially now, <laughs> and especially not you. Do you know what I mean? Like, like I really, I am, I am seeing that like, yeah, I have to stand up for myself. I have to be my own authority. I have to support my growth. I have to keep building that foundation. And yeah, sometimes that is honoring the strong boundaries and embracing myself as the emperor. <laughs> so yeah, so we just talked about this. We know all, we probably remember about, you know, hemlock, it's, it's ideal for framing houses because it's a soft wood that toughens with age. So what do I need to honor and embrace within myself? Trusting my boundaries, creating a good condition within myself that allows me to grow abundantly. All right, I just had to interrupt myself to answer an unknown phone number. It was for the Visa MasterCard debt, debt program. And I was like, I don't have any debt whatsoever. Leave me alone. <laughs> Oh, spammer's gonna spam. You gotta protect those boundaries. All right, so learn how to say no. Learn how to lovingly say fuck off if you need to. Learn how to say no thank you. Learn how to say I will take care of that myself if indeed you are able to take care of that yourself. All right, so anything else from the emperor? So funny that it came back. I guess I really am just stepping into... A lot of um, a, a solid energy for myself. So self-love re realignment. I love that like, you know, it's, at certain points in my life, this self-love realignment may very well have been picking me up off the floor. Like, come on, girl, pick up, dust your shoulders off. You got this. However, at this point in my life, I am not on the floor. I am doing just fine. As a matter of fact, I have my ducks in a row. I've got my head screwed on straight. I've been doing my work religiously, ridiculously religiously, and I've taken this soft hemlock and framed it in a way that's going to support me. Now, this hemlock can strengthen and toughen and and just and just be solid where it's at. Then I can have all this abundant growth. I love that the Adelita of water with the Ocotillo, it's like those, it's got thorns. It's like, you can use my flowers if you like, but you know, just know that if you would try to take me down, you're gonna be in for a surprise. So building this reliable scaffolding on which my sacred work can grow. So what I need to honor and embrace within myself Hemlock, the emperor, says, step into leadership with confidence. Step into leadership with confidence. Understand that you are holding the lantern, the light, and like a good little lighthouse does, you are fully capable of shining it out and leading the way. And you've done the work. And you know you've done the work. So go ahead and own up to it. All right, so self-love realignment. Embrace yourself and magic. Learn to slow down. Begin to heal. Um, what else can we do? Well, maintain. Our last card is how can I maintain this connection and magic? And that takes us back to our Herb of the Week Colts Foot. You know, focusing on the current state, the now moment, this this state of presence, this present experience, this peace, 
breathing in life, feeling really good right now, just for no other reason than the fact that you are, you exist. You step into your I am presence. How do we maintain this? It does feel magical. It does feel like the most beautiful connection in the world. It's the one that we want. It is the connection, our self with our self. So Colts Fit comes in and says, breathe. And keep breathing and maintain it best you can. All right, more advice from the Herb Crafters Tarot. How can I maintain this connection and magic? How can I, can, did I say contain? Maintain. How can I ma maintain? <laughs> Be the container, absolutely. But understand that there is an in and an out. There's a constant flow. There is no, there is no fear that the flow is going to stop, my dear. So keep it going. Honestly, there goes our third card on the floor. <laughs> All right, how can I maintain this connection in magic? Ace of water, plantain. Perfect. I have plantain that I harvested for tea. I need to get on it. I need to drink my herbal teas. I've been lazy. I've been using tea bags, but I've been so thankful too for the tea, for all the tea. All right. How can I maintain this connection and magic? Well, like I was saying, it is a flow and now we're here with plantain by the river. Plantain helps us release any blockages or cysts or anything that needs to get on out of the way. And to answer the question, how can I maintain this connection and magic? Ace of Water, Plantain, answers that question. Well, you can maintain the connection, this connection and magic by following your heart. And that's just perfect to me because this is a heart layout there's a heart on the picture you'll see it the self-love realignment there is a heart right in the center of this tarot spread layout follow your heart that means you got to listen to your heart that means you got to tap into your heart that means you got to have enough ocotillo and hemlock boundaries that like you can safely open up your heart expose yourself to your heart or expose your heart to yourself and really see it feel it know it be it follow it you got to be able to hear it and yeah you do need to feel safe enough to go there so boundaries are not a bad thing okay <laughs> how else can i maintain this connection and magic plantain says trust your instincts and intuition you know when it's on you know when it's off you need to trust yourself you need to embrace yourself as the leader of yourself. You are fully capable of guiding yourself. So trust your instincts and trust your intuition. Also, how beautiful is this? How can I maintain this connection in magic? Ace of Water says, your capacity for love is limitless. And that's what I was saying, like understanding that there is no fear or worry that this flow of light of love of who you are is going to ever stop the river is not going to run dry at all we've got the Adelita of water by a river in the desert this ace of water plantain that's like a Pennsylvania river right there wow it is full to the max although this past year they have they were really low wow they were really low but what you think of a river is full up on the bank and flowing so this is the height of summer so yeah this connection and magic and abundance right uh, plantain wants to say new experiences can cause a wellspring of feelings so open your heart to spiritual guidance take a fresh look at an ancient calling of soul that's how you can best maintain this connection and magic. Okay, just like 
plantain is a prolific yet powerful medicine that is easily missed, okay? To embody the love you desire, you may need to see it in a new light. So how do you maintain this connection of magic? Always be shining new light on it. I am determined to see things differently. This has been on my chalkboard now since I since I got that lesson at the beginning of A Course in Miracles. It just seems so relevant every single day. I am determined to see things different. I am determined to see it in a new light. And by doing that, I can keep maintaining the connection and the magic because it seems new again and again. It seems new again and new again. And oh, I see it differently now. And now I see it broader. And now I see it even more magical. So anyways, Ace of Water says, nourish your emotions and trust your feelings. The threads of joy point the way to wisdom. So how do you maintain this connection and magic? Follow your bliss. Follow your joy. So there we go. We get in, we get out, we realign that self-love. We remind ourselves to embrace ourselves and our magic. Yes, honey, we need to learn to slow down and we're going to do that because if you haven't already, it's time to do your healing work. And if you have done your healing work, good, let's maintain it. Let's increase and grow that connection to ourselves and to magic and to the energy that always flows from within. So maintain your boundaries, fill your cup upeth, <laughs> and shine your light outward so that you can teach others too to realign themselves with their self-love just by your presence and your example of doing so. So step into leadership with confidence. Honor and embrace yourself as a leader of self-love. It's what the, it's what the world truly needs now. So do what you need to do. Slow down. Get some solo time. Connect with that energy. Honor and embrace that energy. Maintain it. And then share that energy. And at the end of the day, the words on your lips should always be much love. Thank you.